All right, welcome. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so I got this question on my, one of my previous videos, and it's a good question, actually. Um, I looked into it, and you can. You can manage the App Store via Intune. Um, I would say it is a little limited, but you can. It's possible. So let's get into it, actually. Okay, so I am here under my devices in Intune. And um, I also do have some documentation uh, pulled up on the side over here. Uh, so you might see me looking to the side. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna go over the first method of doing this. So you're gonna go to your Mac devices and you're gonna go to configuration here. And uh, let's create a new policy and select settings catalog here. Hit create this name Mac OS App Store Test. And you want to hit add settings here. And you should see App Store. Go ahead and select that. Now, this is what I mean by it is the first option is pretty limited because you only have three three options here, really. So it's not great. Um, I'm pretty sure this is probably not what you're looking for. Uh, but Regardless, let's just select one of them, right? Let's just say we want to restrict store software updates. Oops, I've got to hit true. We want to enable that. Next, scope, we could just leave to default. And the groups, let's just select our Intune test group here. All right, and hit next. Review the changes you made and just hit create. So that is the first way. The second way is similar, but it offers a little more, I guess, flexibility. So let's get into that. Uh, you want to create a new policy. And instead of selecting settings catalog, you want to select the templates. And here you will see device restrictions. Um, and let's just give that a name. We'll say app store test to hit next. And this is what I mean by it offers. It offers a few more options so we can just hit this the first category really it, it's just mainly focused on like the game center and stuff so you can just probably say like yes on all three of those um, and you can honestly like just go through each one of these settings yourself um, again it's not like specifically focused on the App Store but it does include it I guess in a way the one thing I did um, learn that you quite can't do in Intune is block direct access to the app store itself. Um, if you do, it ends up blocking like the updates from it. And I'm pretty sure you don't want that. You still want like software to be updated on a regular basis. Um, but yeah, this has quite a few options. So you can honestly just go through each one of these yourself and select whichever one you want. But you're gonna hit next here. And it's the same thing as before, really just select your Intune group that you have or you're trying to deploy this on and hit next. And again, review the changes and hit create. Um, those two are really the two ways that I found that you can do this. Um, I would say if you want more granular control over the App Store, um, I would recommend the Apple Business Manager that has a lot more functionality uh, for that. But other than that, that is about it. If I guess uh, if you found this video helpful, leave a like down below. And if you guys have any other suggestions or questions, again, leave them down in the comments and I will catch y'all in the next one.